Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to my unboxing for Tokyo Treat April box. Um, I do have the regular size box, so it's not entirely all the contents with the premium. Um, I have opened this before, but I'm just going through the contents and what I received. I haven't opened up any of the snacks or anything. Um, so the first thing I'm going to go through is the Dagashi bag, which came with it. Um, and from my understanding, it's like a bag of uh, four or five snacks. Yeah, five snacks. Um, so this is what I got. I got um, this packet of what looks like potato gems, but I think they're more a corn snack or something. And I got little Mr. Police Frog there, looking very happy. So that should be interesting. Um, also got this uh, tube that looks like a pizza flavored something. That's definitely there's a cat eating pizza or something there, and a tube. So uh, there's also that. Got some mochi. Mochi, Mochito Purin, as it says on the side. Um, so that looks kind of tasty. A very simple snack there. And a this this looks to be like some sort of novelty snack um, called Choco Bat. So it looks like it's taking the form of a baseball bat. And it's made of chocolate. And then we have uh, these wafery cracker things. I can't really make out the Japanese at the front there. Um, because I haven't, haven't read Japanese in so long, so I'm not sure what it says. Um, but as you can see, inside there's like a few layers, um, and a few crackers in there. And this guy looks pretty happy eating them, so I'm sure they're pretty good. Um, so what else do we have? We have, um, a chocolate bar, milk chocolate Ghana bar, um, latte. And this looks like an average chocolate bar, nothing really special. It says extra cacao on it, um... The booklet says it's a classic Japanese chocolate um, that's been loved by many generations. Um, and there's been a lot of flagship chocolate since 1964, so it's got some history to it. I'm sure it's good. Um, some staple uh, green tea pocky, which is always delicious. I'm looking forward to eating that. Um, two packets in there. God, I'm running out of space here. Okay, uh, this little the pelican, what is he, pelican? Some sort of bird. Choco Ball, uh, caramel flavored, uh, brings you the caramel chocolate type, which with a creamy caramel center. Cute package has a design of Kyoro Chan, so that's Kyoro Chan right there. Um, the iconic Choco Ball mascot, so um, they they sound like a box of uh, you know, what what do you call them, Maltesers or something? I'm sure they'll be delicious. Uh, this one is quite interesting. I, oops, shit, it came out. Uh, let me just put that in. Okay, so the, the lid kind of just fell off there. Um, no worries. Uh, chip star. Potato chips. Um, and from my understanding, it seems to be... Uh, from the booklet, it says it's small lobster bisque. So I'm guessing that's the flavor of it. And it looks kind of like Pringles. So, uh... Whoa. It's got, it's got a little, uh... Thing there. I don't it's not my camera, it's not going to focus on it. Oh well. Um, so yeah, that's uh, lobster flavoured, lobster bisque flavoured um, Pringles. That should, that should be good. Uh, we've got this corn snack, um, which kind of looks like the things that they had last month with the uh, caramel, caramel corn. But uh, mini Carl corn puffs, light dashi flavour. So dashi flavoured. Popular corn puffs franchise. Uh, Carl released a mini version of the new dash, light dashi flavor. So I guess this is a mini version of uh, the bigger packets that they probably sell over there in Japan. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, oh yeah, we got a Pokemon treat here. Uh, which is the first like anime item I've, I've gotten in a Tokyo treat box, I think. Uh, Pokemon chocolate wafer consists of a wafer sandwich with creamy chocolate and cookie bits as a filling. Each pack comes with one of 24 collectible Pokemon stickers, so I don't know what I'm going to have in here. Should be interesting, there's Pikachu on the back fly. Um, and yeah, it seems to be Sun and Moon uh, themed. So maybe they'll have the new Pokemon in there. We have a Honey Soy Sauce Rice Cracker. Which, I mean, that's fairly explanatory. Mine seems to be a bit broken inside. Uh, still fairly solid, but a little bit of the edges are a bit cracked. Um, 
has been fried to perfection to give it a satisfying crunch. A sweet combination of honey, sweet honey and salty soy sauce makes it a delectable traditional snack with a unique twist. So that looks, that looks tasty. So tasty. And finally, the last item I have is these Pure Real Gummies. Um, and this one's peach flavored. Um, using the juice of Hakuto white peach from Yamagami Prefecture, these gummies are bursting with juicy peach flavor. Uh, enjoy the two different textures in a single gummy. So that, that sounds really delicious. Um, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to this one. Just because, I mean, the packet's shiny. The, the peach on the front looks really tasty. And, like, the actual gummy looks really delicious. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what's in my uh, regular treat box. Um, so, again, just to just go through them. The peach gummies. The Pokemon chocolate wafer biscuits. Uh, Pringles. Lobster, lobster Pringles, that's what I'm going to call them. Uh, chocolate balls with Mr, uh, what's his name? Mr. Pelican, I don't know what his name is. <laughs> uh, we've got green tea pocky, always a good snack. Some Ghana milk chocolate, which I'm holding that upside down, sorry. Um, chocolate bar. Chocolate baseball bat. All your chocolatey treats. Some, uh, good old mochi. Uh... Which we don't know the flavor of, but I'm sure it's delicious. Uh, we've got honey soy rice cracker. We've got the random wafers, which I don't know what flavor they are, but they look delicious. We've got Mr. Kermit the Frog with the, not Kermit the Frog, Police Frog with the potato gems, which are probably corn. And we have the pizza tube, which will be delicious to eat. And finally, because I put it on the floor, I don't know why, I just I didn't have any space on my desk anymore. We have the um, dashi flavored corn thingy, corn snack. So, that is all I have in my Tokyo Treat box. Um, thanks for watching this video, and uh, if you are interested in Tokyo Treat, I do recommend it. This is my second box, um, and last month I did get a good uh, array of snacks which I enjoyed. So, um, and I've got a year subscription, so I'm going to keep doing these videos, um, just to go through what I get, and, um, in case anybody's interested, also, um, I don't know, it's something for me to do, so, uh, enjoy the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and, uh, yeah, keep yourselves updated with my, uh, YouTube channel. Um, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.